Hey everybody, Mike here at the BFH Garage. I have a lot of projects in my queue right now and I'm trying to prioritize what I'm gonna get done. Summer's here and I'm still dead in the water. I gotta get this thing put back together so I can get back out on the trail. One of the projects I'm waiting on right now is my roll bar. That's at Media Blasting. As soon as that gets back, all I have to do is get it painted and reinstalled. So that's fairly straightforward. Another project I need to get done before I get back out on the trail is fabbing up a rear bumper. I like the simplistic bumper design. I don't need a tow hitch receiver or anything like that. So I'm gonna fab something up to cover up the rear end there. And then the big thing I need to get done right now to get back on the trail is I need to find a place to put my spare tire since I sold the old bumper combination spare tire mount. So my plan today is we're putting the spare tire in the bed, but I wanna build a mount for it that's gonna allow me to still have room to slide things underneath without raising the tire up too high. So I'm gonna play around with that and see what we come up with. So I'm fortunate enough that my TJ is not my daily driver. So I can kind of uh, fab this thing up the way that I want it that works for me for the trail. Don't get me wrong, I still love driving this thing around town with the top off. Um, it's just a good fun vehicle, but I don't have to have the luxury of, of having storage space or a back seat or anything like that. So I can kind of do what I want with this thing and I'm trying to make it uh, as good as I can for the trail. So today my goal is to get the spare tire, and by the way, I run 35 inch tires right now. I wanna get the spare tire into the bed and raise it a little bit so I still have some storage underneath for my door skin uppers or even my doors. I'm not sure how much room I'm gonna have until I start playing around with this. Okay, in order to maximize the amount of storage space I'm gonna have back there with the spare tire, I'm gonna start off by placing a straight edge across the body rails and then measure down to the bed and I have roughly 16 and three quarters of an inch. So with that being said, I have a 12 and a half inch wide tire and that will leave me roughly four inch risers for the spare tire. So that'll probably get me where I need to be with what I'm looking to do. I went to the metal scrap yard yesterday and I sourced some 3 16th inch rectangular tubing that is two inches wide by four inches tall. So when you think about my spare tire being 12 and a half inches, that will put this entire height of this project at 16 and a half inches. That has me within a quarter of an inch of where I need to be. So that is absolutely perfect. Now with that being said, I'm gonna cut my tubing run it along the rail here, but I wanna keep that as short as possible too so I can maximize some storage on the back side, maximize some space on the front side for other things. So measuring the holes that I have, I'm gonna use the front hole is gonna be the original uh, rear seat mount hole from there. And then I had some previous holes here drilled from a Tuffy storage box that I used to have in the back. Again, looking to go lighter weight, I got rid of that Tuffy storage box, which weighed, I don't know, I'm guessing 60 or 70 pounds, it seemed like. So that's out of there. However, I already do have those holes drilled. So I'm gonna use those two holes to mount my rectangular tubing for the tires. And my measurement between those holes is 18 and a half inches long. I wanna go about an inch or an inch and a half further than that on both sides. So I'm gonna take some measurements, cutting on some steel.
as you can see, I finished the mount. The only thing I've left to do now is prep it for paint, get it painted and get it mounted. I hate painting. As you guys can see, I'm done with the project now. Went a little bit different than I originally planned. My original plan was to keep the tire low and below the deck so I could still use a, uh, a body cover to keep uh, the elements out. Um, the one thing I discovered I was gonna run out of uh, storage room in the front. I put a 20 degree bevel on the tire, which raised it up in the front, which gives me a lot more storage room in the front side. Overall, really happy with it. I have a 62 pounds weight saving over my uh, rear bumper that was on here before that was carrying this.